the ability to innovate is critical for sustaining long-term health uh, and uh, energy uh, in, a, in a business. Uh, it's marketing's responsibility, it's R&D's responsibility, it's the purchasing agent's responsibility, management's leadership, it's everybody's uh, job uh, to innovate. Companies that don't innovate, uh, with very few exceptions, and those are maybe traditional uh, companies, but you see innovation everywhere. Uh, if you're a hunter who's using a bow and arrow, the, the bow and arrow has evolved uh, you know, considerably over the last 30 years to a very technical instrument. If you are in the ice cream business, uh, the evolution of different ice cream uh, companies that you can purchase ice cream from uh, has taken us in totally different ways. Uh, who would have thought maybe a few years ago that you would have been fashioning that scoop of ice cream uh, on a cold stone, but the cold stone creameries concept of actually developing that ice cream for you and crafting it into uh, a beautiful waffle cone somehow just makes it all that much more savory. And companies that have come down and gone up and come down and gone up, such as Starbucks, have had to innovate. Uh, Starbucks was very hot for 10 or 12 years. It started to lose a little bit of its edge as Pete's and some other coffee companies came into the retail coffee market. And now they're back again uh, with uh, new menu items to draw you into their store, uh, with uh, uh, different kinds of flavors. And now they're even trying the uh, handmade uh, soft drink business as a way uh, to innovate uh, their businesses. So there's innovation everywhere. Innovation starts a group of folks who have uh, some ideas and uh, they um, evolve those ideas into uh, something that makes a difference uh, in uh, their customers' minds and, and serves them all the much better.